Well, it's 5.01. Uh, I'm going to call the meeting to order, and if Mary Lynn can jump in if she gets here. Uh, roll call. Uh, Boren is here. Uh, Marcus Saviglio? Present. Uh, Roberta Panetsky? Trey Mitchell? Here. We have a quorum. Uh, for those in the, uh, for those at uh, City Hall, uh, if you want to uh, stand and uh, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Will do. I pledge allegiance. Todd, do you want to lead, Todd, do you want to lead the pledge? Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Yes. Thank you, Todd. Uh, could you tell the rest of the committee who else is in the council chambers, please? Okay. I'll have Scott send it here. We're all, we start. We just started. Thanks. Bye. Jim. Yes. Uh, Mary Lynn just called me while we were pledging. Um, she can't find the link, so I'll have Scott send the link to Mary Lynn. And then, okay. she, so, but I would just continue in the in the meantime. All right. Uh, could you tell us who's in the uh, council chambers? Yes, I will. Tara Dewey, um, Vicki Schneider, myself, and Carrie Aarons, and Scott, okay. of course. And uh, it looks like we have quite a few guests uh, tonight, so we'll uh, introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Alderman Jim Bourne of the 10th District, and I'm Vice Chairman of the Finance and Personnel Committee. I am Roberta Felicki Paneski, Alderman in District 2. Hi, I'm Marcus Savaglio, Alderman District, uh, Alder Person District 5, excuse me. I'm Trey Mitchell, Alder Person District 9. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to the uh, uh, to uh, item number 2.1 on the agenda, which is approval of the minutes from the December 28th, 2020 meeting. I'll entertain a motion. Move to approve. Second. Second. Uh, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Vice Chair votes aye. I see that Mary Lynn has arrived. Mary Lynn, we're down to number 3.1 if you'd like to uh, take over. I'm really sorry that link, I, I think it's been abducted by aliens and I really apologize. So, all right. So uh, 3.1, um, who would like to take that? I, I can first speak to uh, the first piece of it, which is just simply that when you make the uh, motion, there will need to be uh, um, an amendment, a motion to amend. Uh, so after th th this really went to council probably too early, uh, it went before it had been completely negotiated with the other parties involved. And so there is one change in here that was uh, requested by Color Credit Union that everybody's agreed to. Uh, and it has to do with the whole harmless indemnification clause. But once, uh, once we get to that, I will provide you the language for the um, amendment uh, before you make the final motion. All right, so we are looking for a motion to uh, authorize the mayor and city clerk to execute the agreement between the city, Lakeland University, and Kohler Credit Union for the Memorial Day Parade. Do we have such a motion? So moved. And a second? Second, second Boren. All right, and then Chuck, what are you looking for in terms of a, an yeah, amendment? Yeah. So the amendment would be uh, to amend the agreement so as to replace section 4H in the original agreement, uh, the attached agreement, uh, to provide that the hold harmless indemnification uh, paragraph would read as follows. To the extent permitted by law, 
launch shall hold harmless, defend, and or indemnify KCU and the city from any and all claims, actions, suits, charges, awards, fines, labor disputes, charges, or costs of any kind or character, including attorney's fees and court costs that arise or may arise out of launch's performance or non-performance of any term, obligation, service, or condition as set forth in this agreement. All right. Um, Chuck, can we do this by a, an agreement by the maker of the motion to so amend the, the original motion? Or do you want a separate do you want a separate motion to amend? Probably cleaner to have that separate motion to amend, but since I oh. read it, they can just say so moved. <laughs> so <laughs> do we have uh, <laughs> do we have a motion to amend the agreement as read? Uh, I move to amend the agreement as read. Second. Or... All right. So we're going to vote on the amendment. Are there any questions or concerns? Bert? I have a question. Um, I'm a little bit confused because the language always states Lakeland University, and there is there is a signatory that is um, seems to be affiliated with another entity in there and I don't have the document in front of me I'm sorry but is is it really Lakeland or is it Kim Libum and Kim Libum's business uh, so actually that was asked to be amended as well um, when I sent that back to the mayor this is a this is a Lakeland University venture and launch is the student run business venture owned by Lakeland University. I work for Lakeland University and I mentor the businesses. So this is indeed a Lakeland University agreement. And the document, the, yeah, that, that's all been updated. That was all updated long before. But you may be confused by the fact that, that what, what, as you read the agreement, Lakeland University is referred to as launch. It's launch at Lakeland University is the is, is the party. All right. So by virtue of the motion to approve and then the motion to amend, uh, Chuck, in your opinion, is that pretty crystal clear? Do we have any issues about who the yeah, parties are or what the responsibilities are? No issues with who, who the parties are and the responsibilities. The main change was just Color Credit Union wanted some different language on, on the hold harmless at all. And realistically, the city's position is there's no change. It's just written differently. Okay. Bert, are you satisfied with the answer? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay. So let us vote on the amendment to provide the indemnification agreement, uh, unless there are any other questions or concerns. I, I had a, uh, this is Alderman Boren, Madam Chair. I just wanted to ask Kim Leibam a couple of questions about her launch group, uh, what they've well, been. Uh, Jim, let's let's vote on the amendment. All right. and, that care of, okay. and then we can go to the body of the motion itself. All right, so, fine. Any other questions or concerns regarding the amendment? Hearing none, all in favor state aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. The amendment passes and the uh, agreement as amended is before us. So go ahead, Jim. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Kim, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about the launch group. Uh, how many students are involved in it? Is this going to be their first project in the community? What other projects are they are you having thinking of having them be be involved in? And also, is there any kind of a coordination with the Kohler Credit Union as far as past practices and running the parade? Uh, that would be helpful. Thank you. Good question. Thank you. And I appreciate you asking them. Let me address the first question, which is uh, launch and its infrastructure. Launch began uh, on May 10th of 2020. So it's a relatively new endeavor. However, in the, the short months that we have been operational, we have eight student leaders who are operating five different businesses right now. We actually are profitable. So believe it or not, we were able to start some businesses that didn't have any startup costs or any expenses to them. So um, we are, we started conservatively and that's, that's paying dividends. As far as what we are doing within the community, we actually have just been approved to launch an independent campus shop, which we will be operating on campus. 
from an event standpoint, we are contracted to run the Memorial Day Parade, which we're talking about here. We will be running the, um, the Gus Macker, the Boys and the Girls Clubs is no longer um, engaging in that activity. So Lodge is now going to be running that with the Gus Macker um, organization. We are running the Blasters Golf Tournament this summer. And um, we are also running a concession stand at Road America. So that's the event side of the business that, that really <laughs> took off kind of quickly. We also are managing a rental property that we um, that, that the university owns. And we are, fingers crossed, um, going to be closing on a business that we are actually purchasing uh, on the 30th of January that we have been negotiating for several months. So we actually are looking to conclude our event side of the business with uh, over a hundred thousand dollar profit by the end of the summer. And I, I think anybody who knows anything about you know new businesses, that's a, I think that's a good feat for uh, a year to actually end the year with the profit. From the other side of your question, asking and how we've been cooperating with Cola Credit Union. Cola Credit Unit and Laura are very easy to work with. They have shared all of their documentation with us. We have everything that had been created both by um, Laura as well as the, the person who had run the Memorial Day Parade for years past. And we have reorganized that and assigned our timeline and uh, work to it. And the woman who is going to be leading the parade, her name is Allie Wilson. She is an absolutely outstanding senior. She is studying organizational development and leadership. She's interested in pursuing a career in um, athletic management from a operational side of the house. So um, I have complete faith in her. Now the students do not operate by themselves. So I mentor or you might want to say, I control everything that they're doing, but because they're students, they don't know how to run businesses and they need that partnership. And that's my responsibility. Thank you. Any other sure. questions? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion, please state aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Chair votes aye. Well, just Laura and Kim and um, just thank you so much for all of your assistance with this really important parade and hopefully um, in May we'll all be able to stand uh, you know <laughs> close together on the sidewalks with our winter jackets on and uh, enjoy <laughs> enjoy the parade so but really thank you so much and Kim congratulations on your amazing program that's really that's really thank terrific. You. Yeah thanks for your support we're really looking forward to making sure and proud. Yes, you will. Um, now, my let me just look. Well, by jinkies, that's the end of our meeting. Um, we are next meeting on January 25th. Uh, do we have any quorum issues for that? It's the great thing about nobody going anywhere. Very good. Uh, can we have a motion to adjourn? I'll move. Motion to adjourn. Second. All right, we have a motion and second. All in favor, uh, please signify by stating aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned. Thank you all so much. And again, my apologies. Uh -huh.